Hey guys, this is Blazekin Blitz here. Welcome to my Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. Now, this game has a lot of significance to me because of just how much I played it when I was a lot younger. And so, I figure for my first resurgence onto my channel, this has got to be the thing I do. No, here it goes again. So, I have a problem with the graphics. I don't know how to properly change the the cutscenes. See, it just shakes like this. Otherwise, I would have had that play at the beginning. But, um, here we are. <laughs> here we are. So, I'm going to press start, and we're just going to make a new campaign. So, you might have to deal with the, the shaking cutscene for now. I'm sorry. I'm deeply, deeply sorry. <laughs> but, I'm going to go through it, just so you can see it. Welcome to Capsule Monster Coliseum. Oh, the audio is going to be bad, too. You're just in time for the big tournament. Capsule Monster Battle Tournament. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> oh. Yugi Moto and his alter ego, who had been trapped in the Millennium Puzzle. There's Yugi on the left, and Yami Yugi on the right. Will use their wits and monster capabilities to defeat all their opponents. And as you can see, there's a bunch of battle animations there. As they fight for the title bestowed on only the best. Capsule Monster Coliseum Fighter. King of Capsule Monsters. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for making you watch this. But you're going to have to, because I have to watch it too. But whatever. It'll work out. Alright, so we are going to get into the game now, which is going to be significantly less shaky. And there's loading screens! One of my least favorite parts of this, but I don't have a video editor at the moment, so you're just going to have to deal with them. Alright, entrance hall. Whoosh! Submit entry. Enter name. Alright, well here we go. As you all probably know, if you're on my channel, I am Blaziken Blitz. So that is what I shall be here too. Teasy. And finish. Alright. Now, so on one hand, you can purchase a starter kit for your uh, for whatever symbol or whatever you want you okay 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 I'll explain it more build custom is what you're gonna want to use for the most part and it loads all right the symbol's attribute affects all of your monsters. Select an attribute that will give your monsters an advantage in battle. So, with building a starter kit, you get to choose your symbol type here. And it'll provide monsters and a symbol for you. Each of these symbols has a different attribute that affects the monsters that, you, uh, that are of specific attributes. I, being Blaziken Blitz, I have to go with the fire symbol. Um, let's see. Since I'm a kung fu chicken, let's go, um, wing. And 
Let's go Platinum. Now, we've got here MP, AP, and PP. Um, MP is how, much, how many points you have in the store to buy monsters. So you're going to want that kind of high. AP is, are the points that you want, use to uh, move monsters in a, mo in a battle. And so that you want pretty high. And then PP is your it's your health for the your symbol at least so you can have that as high as you want i personally like raising my mp a good bit and then putting the rest in ap because ap is really useful to have early on and you can upgrade it later so i'd say this is about good for me And then one thing about Bill. Oh, wait, we have a cutscene first here. <laughs> Grandpa! Ah, I thought you would come, Yugi. What are you doing? I knew you wouldn't have prepared anything. You're always so impatient. Kind of standard, I suppose. I brought monsters that you can use in the tournament. Oh, really? That's my grandpa. That's my grandpa. Hold your horses. I never said I was giving you these for free. I'll exchange them for monster points. There's the explanation from MP. They're monster points. Monster points? You can earn monster points by winning during the tournament. Keep winning to get more and more. He doesn't specify, but you'll see later on. But I haven't battled even once yet. But didn't you just create a symbol that gave you monster points? As you can see. Use those to start with. Let me give you some tips. Tips! Monsters can be separated into light, light dark, dark, fire, fire water, water, earth, earth wood, wind, wind and, and thunder. In other words, each monster has a different attribute. And each attribute has a different advantage and disadvantage. I'll explain what they are, but... If you don't think you can remember them, I suggest you take notes. Or you can pull this type chart up later. <laughs> are you ready? Here they are. Here's a basic understanding. I don't need Grandpa to explain, because it shows you. Light's good against dark, and dark's good against earth. Basically, all of these attributes go in two square fashions. So, what it's showing you is that it is basically completing all four of the squares. So, the squares are water against fire, fire against wood, wood against wind, and then... That's it. And then dark against earth, earth against thunder, thunder against light, light against dark. If you remember... So, so in other words, if you have one square and you're attacking the other, it's neutral no matter what. That's my grandson. However, you should always take your opponent's attribute into account. Kind of. Not my strategy, but it works That's out. That's another important point to remember. Well, the rest is up to you. I understand. Can you show me the monsters? Can you show me the monsters? Okay. So I chose... So one thing that Grandpa does not mention is the fact that when you have a symbol of one type, you it also ups the power of the, the attribute that's good against your attribute. So because my fire attribute is weak to the wind attribute, or because my fire attribute is weak to the water attribute, it, my fire symbol also powers up wind monsters, which are good against the water attribute, if you, that, if you can make sense of that. So, basically, all wind monsters get the same bonuses that fire monsters do, to a lesser degree. So, buying stuff like Drollbird here would be a good, a good use of my MP to start out. So, when you... When you, um, when you purchase a symbol pack, 
it will give you a certain a certain combination of monsters of your symbol attribute but I like to choose custom symbol because it gives you the choice of what you're buying here and you can get some monsters here in this early shop that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise which is always a great thing um, let's buy one of these oh I need to buy 10 monsters okay well um, let's buy another one of you and another one of you then We don't have any money for anything else, so we are good. Alright, here's another loading screen, and we shall be getting into the meat of this game pretty shortly. Here we are, at Area 1. The Forgotten Capital. Joey Wheeler. I'm going to tackle this in the next episode. This shall be an introductory episode. I think you guys will enjoy what's coming up. Talk to you later, Torchicks.